of shame, darling, vlog of shame. <laughs> Something is different about me. Can you guess what? <laughs> I'm here today to document lessons learned from my first ever attempt at a hack job haircut. <laughs> As if I haven't tried enough hack job stuff on this channel and otherwise, this was my first attempt at a hack job haircut. It's a long story, so grab some popcorn. <laughs> First, let's take care of the obvious first questions that some folks might have. No, I did not lose a bet. <laughs> so, our story begins with uh, what's happening to my barber, actually. He is, um, he, he's going to appointment only, except for 8 to 12, because uh, he wants more time off in the afternoons, because, unfortunately, his wife's in the hospital, and uh, his business was cutting into his ability to visit his wife in the hospital. So uh, he, he's been in the business a very, very long time. He's a retired guy really up there in years. He's a retired guy really, really up there in years. I've been helping him out all the time. Now that he's appointment only, I can't really go there after work anymore for haircuts. I'd have to schedule something and see if he had anything open. And I seriously think that if he's going to appointment only in the afternoons and only working mornings now, that he's probably one step away from just hanging it up entirely. So I figure let's, uh, I, you know, I'd like to support the elderly and stuff like that. And I've been helping, you know, support this guy as one of his clientele for decades, actually. I've been going to this guy since, uh, since high school, actually. So he saw me go from pizza face teenager to gray hairs. So... Uh, yeah, well, I did what I could with uh, what was there, <laughs> and stuff like that. So, with these changes, I figured if I was going to experiment with, because I get really, really basic haircuts, I buzz things down to almost military length, and then let things grow. When they when it grows back enough to start parting it again, I start parting it until I feel like buzzing it back down again. Because of how fast my hair grows, I'm routinely in the barber chair every three to four weeks. So, and uh, yeah. So I, I, the idea of trying, the idea of since I have such, since I go for such simple haircuts anyways, trying to buzz things myself with mirrors and stuff at home is something that's been in the back of my mind for quite some time, but I never really knew really how to connect the dots on this. It was up until recently when I saw some YouTube videos of some folks with double mirrors getting used to everything being backwards when you're accessing the back of your head, so to speak. Um, actually giving themselves haircuts. They weren't the best haircuts in the world, but uh, if you don't get anything too fancy, do you really need to be paying somebody 10, 20 something a visit? It's, it's, you know, if you're just gonna get the same old thing, it's gonna be dirt simple like what I have, but much, much shorter, which is basically what I've been telling every barber I've been to <laughs> basically ever. <laughs> I, I don't really have much in mind. Crew cut, flat top, something like that. Just uh, what I have, but much, much shorter. <laughs> so it's, uh, this was attempt numero uno. So um, I, I had seen these wall haircut kits floating around the pharmacies with a little carrying case and everything. So I went and picked one of these up. Now, uh, what gave me this harebrained idea? Ha 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 ha, I see what you did there. Thank you, I'm here all week. So, here's a Philips Norelco One Blade. It's basically an exact 50 50 split between a blade and an electric. It's basically like blade here, blade here, and just like this. So you're shaving and stuff like that, and you know. With or without cream, well, with or without shaving cream, you can clean it. And uh, maybe penetration pricing, but these I found to be less expensive than some electric shavers. And the replacement blades I've actually found are less expensive than blade packs for other electrics. That may be penetration pricing just to get these things into the hands of people and get them shaving with them. But um, I had this wacky idea because usually when I need a haircut, I start feeling you know hair around here-ish instead of fuzz or nothing. Because my barber with his straight razor is like, <laughs> right that down the back of my neck. He has a lot of practice, obviously, with uh, with those really fancy razors. But anyways, um, what happened was uh, I thought I'd be a smart ass, take one of these and two mirrors, and try and go whoosh, 
across the back of my neck and get it back down to a very defined hairline over there with a, you know, no more goofy stuff, no more goofy stuff in the back, so to speak. So I did, and uh, I, I thought I was a smart ass for being able to go whoosh, horizontally across the bottom of my hair on the back of my neck. Ooh, talented cosmetologist I am, not. <laughs> So I decided to finish the ensemble and pick up one of these effing wall haircut kits and try it for myself. Now I've seen some videos of folks attempting this for the first time that screwed up and had to buzz everything away. So the fact that I still have something resembling, you know, a bad my barber having a bad day means it was at least a partial success. But the lesson learned for the next time I attempt this freaking thing is no more than four. This, uh, this doohickey right here <laughs> comes with a set of these comb thingies or guides or whatever. They're all numbered based on their length from 1 to 8. So I started with an 8, which is an inch off of your scalp. Nothing happened, except a couple of flyaways here and there. Then I kept going on and on and on, and then I was like, oh yeah, 4. That seems to be where, you know, yeah, yeah, the 4 seems to be shortening everything really nice across the top. Why don't I try a 3? and a three on the top was when it started looking a bit fuzzy. So, yeah, no more than four, which equates to the top should be no more than a half inch in length. <laughs> Hell yes, I'm gonna comb my hair with this. No. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody's going to be like, oh my goodness, you, you should just go back to the barber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so just, yeah, no more than four across the top. There are some special combs for doing around the ears, where you're going against the grain, so like that, or excuse me, you're going against it like that. Likewise, the other side, like this, stuff like that. But for the top, no more than four. I may try four, and that may be too short next time, so then I'll just say no more than five. But for now, no more than four, half inch, yeah, like that. But hey, y'all, you gotta start somewhere. And when you're learning something brand new for the first time, you've gotta be careful, don't screw things up too much. That's the mark of a novice, is when you don't screw things up too much. You start becoming more pro when you just plain don't screw things up. But <laughs> So, I'm going to go around wearing hair goo for the next week or two so it doesn't look totally like fuzz on top of my head. But, uh, you know, it's probably a good thing that I'm doing this experiment in my 30s where hair issues won't be looked on as too weird of a thing in most folks' eyes. If I'd done this 10 years ago in my 20s and, you know, like, what happened to you, man? <laughs> Did you get drunk or something? It's, uh, yeah, so, right. We all got to start somewhere. So this is to document my first attempt at a hack job haircut. It does kind of sort of in the viewfinder look similar. It does kind of sort of in the viewfinder look similar to what I used to get at the barber shop. But the minute I bust out the mirror, I can see that it's definitely shorter. Or even better yet, just doing this. Yeah, this is like like that. It's no. Next time, more on top. Keep it a little flat to work on leaving more on top and more in the front so I can go all flat top at the very least. But this is rounder than what I normally get. And of course, I take a three comb and I'm like, oh yeah, let's see how much this takes off. <laughs> so, no more than four for next time. I look in the mirror, yeah, it's definitely shorter than what I usually get, so whatever. That probably doesn't look too bad after the video compression, but in the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Probably doesn't look too bad after video compression, but yeah, when I look in the mirror, oh yeah, I, I normally don't look like this. Too round. Too round. People are going to think I got a different barber and this new barber is horrible. Yeah, of course the new barber is horrible. The new barber is me, and I've never done this before. Duh. Did manage to shave the, did manage to buzz the back okay, though. I don't think there's any lines or anything back there, but uh, yeah. No more then four. We'll see. We'll start. Actually, we'll be paranoid. Start with five next time. See what that looks like. And then go down to a four afterwards. Whatever. So, yeah. 
My curiosity gets the better of me sometimes. Right. The key with experimenting with this kind of thing is have a simple haircut in mind and keep it conservative, which I did. Which is why I actually still have something on here. I didn't have to buzz it completely away. Like, uh, the good news is that uh, I usually wound up in the barber chair every two to th every not two every three to four weeks. So I'd say maybe in a week or so I can stop using the hair goo, let this grow back a bit, and then uh, adjust it from there, so to speak. Yeah, after all, it's not going to be twenty dollars a pop or something like that for you know, this thing <laughs> like that. I'm just going to remember to keep oiling the blade on this thing. Okay, now I suppose I should sick the vacuum robot on all that hair on the floor in the bathroom, uh, which is now hopefully thoroughly dried out. Sick the vacuum robot on there to clean that up, and, uh, okay. Yep, this is for documentation purposes, whatever. So, yeah, hope you've had a better Thursday than I have. <laughs> well, at least I can feel the wind in my hair again, right after it all cooled down, nonetheless. This would have been great in the summertime. It's very much a summer haircut, so, yeah. Uh, no more than four, and four might even be the summer level. Might do five for the regular stuff. Till next time, this is Multimedia J signing off. Thanks for stopping by.